Hyper Alloy Assembly is amazing, but that's all I can say with a straight face. Hyper Alloy has a similar upside with AI Stability Engine, that being the weak point bonus damage. But Hyper Alloy doesn't have the downsides of a lower damage output and a slower rate of fire like AI Stability, but instead has a huge amount of recoil and less ammo. Now this recoil that has been added to this gun is insane. Normally DRG guns recoil from 2 to 3 bullets, but Hyper Alloy, it's from 9 to 10 bullets. But for those of you who know how to deal with recoil, you just pull your mouse down while firing until the recoil evens out and you're able to fire normally. I'm sorry for those of you on controller. But aside from that, Hyper Alloy does do incredible damage when built properly, but that's really about it. To me, this overclock is just boring, but that didn't stop me from facing the horde. Also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Okay, let's try this again. Come here, bugs. There you go. All right. Oh, there's a Vartok somewhere. At least it's not the Prospector. <laughs> I tried already recording this mission. Oh, uh, no. Or I tried beginning this video already, and at the beginning of my last mission, there was just a Prospector right at the beginning of the mission. I was playing on Magma Core, and it just kept getting hurt and spawning in robots. What? Where? Where is he? There he is again. There they are. Hi, guys. Help me kill- No! Oh uh, man. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea on escort duty. Help. <laughs> help me, Bosco. Help. <laughs> and I'm currently playing with two player invulnerability. So I- I was getting one shot by everything. I was originally going to play with the bugs having more health one. But I tested it out before I started recording, and I was just not having a really fun time. Reminded me of like I was playing Dark Souls 2 again, where there's just a bunch of enemies having more health than what they need. One thing I've learned with two player invulnerability is that, yeah, those guys. Those guys will one-shot me no matter what. Even if I have full shield and health, they will just one-shot you. So Mactaris have become the bane of my existence during this mission. See, this is going to feel like a normal mission to me, until the moment I see my health just drop to zero. Okay, I think I'm gonna still stand by what I said in my all 12 new overclocks video that this this overclock is just like very meh. <gasps> No There you go This overclock is just very meh to me. It just feels like a baby version of AI stability engine Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord Ow uh, is that an acid spitter? Yeah, it is. Right here. I should have probably pre-set up my turrets. Please, please, no, please. I'm begging you. Okay. The Macteras are gone. <laughs> I can't get Steve on this because I wanted to bring Iron Will because I know I'm going to be dying a lot of the time. And I just need that little bit of extra health. Go, go. Yeah. Damn it! I could have killed him fast enough. Uh, I really wish I had Steve. Oh my gosh. What am I playing with? Two times spawns too? Get out of here. Yeah, no. This overclock is just very meh. To me in my opinion it's just like a baby ai stability engine with added recoil so i kind of built it in a way that's sort of similar to ai stability engine i didn't add more weak point bonus damage because i would rather prefer the electricity bonus damage instead just for more damage in general since i'm since i'll be proccing electricity a lot of the time might as well just get the electricity bonus damage rather than weak point bonus damage There we go. Get out of here. Nope. Any and all grunts are now dangerous and lethal. Now, it's making me wonder what I should, like... I wonder how the bugs damage would do if I was on lethal enemies. I wonder how that would be. 
I bet I would get one shot at everything. You know, that would actually probably make a good challenge run to do, actually, thinking about it. I guess this will be my little base of operations. See, I think just in general, the stubbies overclocks are just very boring. A lot of them, half of the time, are just like more ammo, faster fire rate. Even its gear mods are really boring. Because there's only really like two ways to play with the stubby. It's just either all electricity or just insane fire rate and damage. And I think that's kind of really boring. Only two of the overclocks are really fun to play with. high. I still don't know why they haven't made frost oppressors or even a frost detonator. I would really like that. <laughs> or even radioactive versions of them too. I think that would be hilarious. Nope. Of course this happens as I get an ambush. Well, one thing I will say, though, is that though this feels like a baby AI stability engine, it sure does act like it when you're able to get the weak point bonus damage off. Oh, oh speaking of my buddy, the detonator. Nope. There you go. Where's my buddy? There he is. What's up, boy? That's gonna hurt. Okay, cool. Nope. Nope. Good news team, my fucking base of operations is no longer a base. Should I really stay in this like little pits? I did not. Duh! Stop that. Maybe I should like a <laughs> like a Minecraft world when a creeper goes off, just just cover it up. <laughs> yeah, that works. There we go. Anyways, go get that one. I think we've gotten the two swarm eggs, so now it should just be ambushes left. No. Bosco, I need you. Yeah, I cannot deny that this this does shred. And I think I have gotten a way better build for it than what I had originally in my 12 overclocks video. But I, I just still don't enjoy using it. I think just the stubby in general is just like... Meh. I don't know how when I first started playing as a, a wee little green beard, I was just like so content using the stubby over the warthog. Just one day I tried out the warthog's overclocks and then I'm just like, oh my god, I can never go back. What? What? I almost have another resupply. Maybe if I can find... I asked nicely with my pickaxe, I can get nitra and loot books. There you go. No, oh, no, 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 no. I've recently uh, made a good purchase of a PS5. For a while there, I wasn't going to actually get a PS5. I was just going to, like, wait until there was a game that came out that would persuade me to get it. And that's uh, actually exactly what happened. Black Myth Wukong. But that $70 price tag is unpersuading me. <laughs> I won't. I have editing powers. <laughs> and also another game. I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, Stellar Blade. Those two games persuaded me to buy a PS5. Anthimesia. Oh yeah, Anthimesia too. See, the original reason why I bought a PS4 back, like I think two years ago now, maybe even longer, was because of Bloodborne. For the longest time as a kid, I always saw the fun games get exclusively owned by PS4. And I was very content with it for a while because one, I couldn't pay for it myself. My father always had to pay for it for me. And two, I just didn't really care that much. But then I saw Bloodborne. And when I saw that PS4 only exclusive uh, symbol again, I just got so pissed. I was like, fuck you, Sony, for keeping such a cool game away from me. I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to finally buy a PS4 and play Bloodborne. And that's exactly what I did. And now the only from software game I haven't played yet is Sekiro. And uh, I've just seen so much praise for that game. Way too much praise. So I'm very excited to try it out when I eventually get my hands back on it from the storage unit. Maybe I should have increased the aggressiveness or the speed of these bugs. 
Oh lord. Maybe not. You know what? I'm pretty content with with them doing double damage to me. Oh boy. Oh goody. A uh, a person. An impersonator. Yeah, that <laughs> that does just shred. But I still think that this is like a pretty meh overclock. It's good, and if people like it, that's okay. But for me personally, it's just like, it's just so boring. <laughs> I'd rather prefer using EM Discharge than anything else on the stubby. But if you like it, hey, that's that's your that's your cup of tea that you drink. As for me, I'll be over here drinking my coffee. Oh my god, that's still hot.